dragon rider. My kin are near. It's huge. You go a lifetime without seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. That thing could swallow us in a gulp. Gresham? What? Apart from the dragon? Look. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istic. This is your, your last... Chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istic. Now burn! Wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Nonsense. They will lead us to the cure we seek. Ryder, my time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Gestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raider's hands. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. 
Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Boss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Damn it all! You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignobles distilled Kithrak, will keep me from my purification.
The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good after the Mind Flare ship. But you just can't get enough of me, can you? Karlak! Advocatus Diaboli! The stink of Avernus! Pride of the coast, in the flesh, and you've got... <laughs> A great fire roars through you, the fire of the first hell. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. He chases the fiend, ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Your allies are fraud, a soldier in the archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the sword coast to ash. I've tried to tell you. I am not what you think I am. I... Uh... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. The man shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldrin's helm, I... No! I will not be tricked! You saw the truth. I may be an effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? <sighs> Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies. We're looking to get rid of these parasites for good. And ruin some bastards' days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier, what's the word? Hey! Well met, and a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. Hm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade, names strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. brows furrow as your minds connect. He sees the burning embers of Joaquin's rest, then Floric's face as she tells you of Ravengard's abduction. Hells! Older Ravengard's been taken! Then we need to seek him out and get him to safety. You see, Grand Duke Ravengard is my father. 
I know I haven't said. Our relation was no matter of pride, not least for him. You heard right. My father and I were close once upon a time, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. Such a rift isn't so easily mended. But it's not so wide that I'd let my own father suffer at his captor's hands. I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Menzo Baranzin would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The Absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. I know, and you're right. When I look into a mirror, I see two faces. I see the Blade of Frontiers, a man hunting the fiends who prey on the weak and claw at the coast. And I see Will Ravenguard, a memory of a memory. A man who belongs to the past. I wanted you to know the blade, not the shadow he left behind. I'm all for it. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. After my exile, I was hunting near the Cloakwood. I heard a child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields, flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course, though sometimes too eager to listen to the devils on their shoulders. <laughs> Comes with the territory, unfortunately. That is most gratifying to hear. May I? Thank you. Strange experience. Each time anew, like a lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite. Ah! <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire and merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the 
fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Hello. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That... that can't be. You're mad. But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Gladwell saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. Takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or... I will have soon, anyway. What's on your mind? Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? <laughs> I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works! Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at.
good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Stop. Now? Wise. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag. He produces an ice pick. Are you certain? We're nearly there. As you wish. But when your skin starts to peel away, remember Volo offered to help. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. All these telltale signs of Dark Justicius that we've been seeing... I'm having a hard time believing they're a coincidence. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that suspicion amounts to anything. Still, there may be more to it. I need to keep alert, in case that's... I don't think there'll be any more trouble between Lazelle and I, if you were wondering. We can all sleep easier now. Well... 
apart from all the rest. You have an interesting definition of friendly, but yes. I know. I felt it. You wouldn't have been able to take it. The artifact has a will of its own. It would fight back if it didn't want to be with you. I felt it go from me to you. You need its help, just as it needs us. Still just a box, after all. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah, mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her? My lady Shah is the night singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain, hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. What's on your mind? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand. Every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about?
wandered into a forbidden area. You sense it might be time to leave. to talk your way in. No easy feat. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. I wonder who or what those chains are for. Not a chance I'll fit in there.
something about it. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want something? Copper for your thoughts. Ah, this goes very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. To the shadows. I don't care what others say about the Underdark. It's beautiful down here. I'm used to a crypt's gloom. This is something else.
someone there? I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Get back! Careful. Not everyone looks this good dead. All's well that ends yeah, not as bad as it could have. Fungal spores. Is a little blood mist too much to ask for? In the nine hells is that they're coming they're coming no someone's coming and someone else wants us to know they are coming you are coming Good.
macabre. Let's go. My turn. Under their noses. This is my happy place. Cry about it. <laughs> Another fight. Let's go. Let's get this over with. Parley, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? We simply haven't time for all of my titles. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh, no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? 
Zagrim, Phil Rowe. Impossible! The master of the Adamantine Forge would be known and feared throughout the Underdark. Unless... Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no. They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. Bold of you to ask. The others knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, but I know where to find it. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or... Almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me, but I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Shouldn't have made me your enemy. I've missed this.
tell you go is a trap. Won't take me yet. Don't touch me, soldier. Nothing important is ever easy. <laughs> Turn someone inside out. Yes, here. Need to stay focused. On the move. It's hot in here. Down the hatch. up. Dogs are barking. Can we rest?
to press ahead. Step quick. Damn, it's good to be alive. La, la, la. Hmm. I must keep going. Stopped me yet. At the ready. Keep your distance, darling. Wits and blades always sharp. No time to waste. Still breathing, despite everything. Watch your back. Tread carefully. My faith will guide me. No time for Danny. Still alive, so that's progress.
looks abandoned. Someone sneaking up on us. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. you hunting slave ran away took sergeant thrin's boots gotta kill the slave and fetch back the leather or the bosses in moonrise will have thrin's hide Even know what you'd be up against. Slaves got herself some protection. Hiding up there in a myconid circle. Can't get past those rock flowers. They get in your head, make you see things. Half my squad jumped off a cliff, laughing. I'll wait here. She'll make a run for it eventually. Then I'll get her. Good. Do well, and there might be a reward for you back at camp. Do really well, and who knows? Maybe the Absolute will have space for you in her ranks. But that comes later. Boots first, then you'll get what's coming to you. Deep Gnome Slave. They all look the same. But this one's got fancy boots. She's with the rest of our expedition across the lake. Special mission for the Absolute. Creatures live in waters this dark. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters.
human. What are you doing on Gek's raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? All right. No reason to get your tongue in a twist. Well, come on. Let's get you to shore. You'll need to report to the sergeant. You lot, keep patrolling. I'm heading back with this one. You continue forward in silence until the lights of a camp twinkle through the murk. you showed up we got trouble spit it out sergeant finally choked on true soul near's prick drug no the twat soul caused a rock fall trapped tighter than a ring on a fat finger you're shitting me you pay up that's the trouble he's got the gold on him sergeant's arm is falling off with all the gnome slaves she's been beating Who's the hoon, Grayman? Another slave for the dig. Aye. One of those absolute crackpots. Found the hoon sailing Gex skiff. That's so. I... <sighs> You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwergar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be! You ain't shitting! Felt the tingle! Your twat soul chum owes us a load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. I'll be shagged to Shanatar. Shit's looking up. But I'm warning you, that twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. The boat beckons you aboard, 